So, Danny, I'm gonna ask you this one last yeah, time. Yeah, oh man, another one. Has anybody ever done this for you? Done what? This is me, and that is Gary Winthorpe, or better known as Danny Duncan. And while you're probably wondering, how was I able to get the attention of one of the most successful YouTubers of all time? Well, it's pretty simple. You see, it all started over five years ago when I made a video promoting one of Danny's merch products. And ever since that promotion, Danny has brought in 150 million um, sales on like all the t-shirts and everything. And yet, I didn't receive a single penny, which is why I decided to blindly drive over 15 hours to Danny's hometown, Inglewood, Florida, and illegally set up my brand new company across from Danny's ice cream shop, just for the sole purpose of stealing all of his customers and eventually taking over his entire company right in front of his face. And well, in order to take my revenge on Danny, the first step was to bring in new customers by going around Inglewood and promoting my business. Today is the grand opening of our new company. This will be our clothing, that will be our drinks, and this would be our food. We have a rival, Danny's Cream Pies. We're gonna go back and forth, but I promise we're going to outsell them in every aspect. And our prices are better than Danny's Cream Pies, whereas we give you no tax, a cent off the ice cream, a cent off the water, and we also give you $10 off the merchandise. It's called No It's Not That. N-I-N-T for sure, for sure. Grand opening on Dearborn Street. It's to be right across from Danny's Cream Pies. A competitor in the game, but you know, we're gonna wash them out of the park. Yeah. Hiring. Yeah, we are hiring as well. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Right. Thank you very much. My amazing marketing tactics had to get cut short because of an important factor that I forgot to mention, which was Danny's employees. Is there even like a set time that Danny's Cream Pies opens? He has actual like literal employees, like people that have to go here to feed their family. You see, Danny's Cream Pies was set to open up at around 12 p.m., which means I had less than an hour to build up my entire shop right before any one of his employees showed up. So with that problem in mind, I transitioned to my second step, setting up shop. Constructing the store, we were approached by a random guy asking us questions. Now, at first, I thought he was just a regular fan, but that was until I used my remarkable intelligence by reading his shirt and figuring out that he was one of Danny's employees. Today, we're starring NINT. No, it's not that. Competitor against Danny's Cream Pies. I can show you the menu if you'd like, everything that we're selling. We're setting it up. We're about to put the flag on there as well. And we are expecting Danny to be here. It's good to have competition in the game, is it not? I'll just take that call, I'll just take that call. Even though I was briefly interrogated by an undercover spy, we still continued on with our assembly. Because at the pace we were going, my shop was going to be open for business in just a matter of minutes. Which is what I was led to believe before this happened. Get the camera, get the camera. It's right there, grab it. How's it going? I don't know, what the hell are you doing? So, me and Danny Duncan, I shouted out his shoes a while ago, and he reacted to the video. So I thought, well, I'm gonna start my own business called No It's Not That. And I have a bunch of items. Like, so you want me to show you the menu? Can yeah, I show you the menu? We'll move this shit across the street. Oh, I, I, can't, I just can't have it here? No. No? This is private property. Oh, okay. Yeah. I did it out of good intention. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes. I'll show you the menu, and you, you actually like it. I'm not getting my gun, don't worry. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not getting mine either. If you want to take your picture, take your picture, but the cops will be here in five minutes. In five minutes? Yeah. Okay. So Danny's not going to be coming out here? No. No? No. No. Okay. Well, no worries. Okay. Sorry, man. Like no. you, dude, you can set up right there if you want. Just, you can't be on this property. Okay. And there's still no chance of him coming out be set up over there? Uh, no. No? No, he ain't coming here today. Oh, okay. He flies out this afternoon to Texas. Oh, he does? Yeah. That's so funny. You know why? Do, do you want to guess where we just drove from? Texas. Listen, if he was here, he might come here and think this is all good, but he ain't going to like this. People drive from far away just to come and take a picture in front of that. I agree. I, that, it was a lack of self-awareness on my yep. part, but I appreciate you guys being nice and kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, we'll take this down, no worries. In this very moment, the only thing going through my mind was disappointment. Disappointment in the fact that we drove over 15 hours, spent thousands of dollars, and dedicated all of my time towards this one thing just so it can be taken away from me. Now at this time, I was left with no other option but to dismantle my entire business, liquidate all of my assets, and go drive back home without even catching a glimpse 
of Danny. Which is what I thought about doing for a good 10 seconds until I remembered a famous quote, which is, it's not about the clothes on a man, but the man in the clothes. And while the man in those clothes was not just going to give up like a little pussy. Instead, he decided to grab everything he had, move across the street, and reassemble his entire business in hopes that Danny would miraculously show up. Well, in the mix of me piecing everything back together, I received a notification on my phone which changed the entire trajectory of this video. Hey Danny, uh, yeah, we're currently at your shop. Well, we're actually across the street from it because Frankie respectful, respectfully kicked us out, which I completely understand. We created an entire shop for you, selling items for you, and we're here across from Danny's Cream Pies. Come whenever you want, and actually probably come right now. Actually, d don't do that last part. Thank you, man, for responding, I appreciate it. Okay, so the reason why I sent that, guys, is because Danny said, they told me somebody was there today. I didn't know who it was. What's well, good, dude? You see, as we were getting kicked off the property, I quickly snapped a photo in front of Danny's store and posted it on my Instagram story as a last ditch effort to see if he would show up. And I think it's safe to say that it worked because we only had a couple of hours left to make sure that everything was perfect before Danny arrived. In the middle of me getting ready, I was catching the attention of some potential customers who were looking to buy some items. You guys are going to be the very first customers of No It's Not That, just to let you know. So right here is our merch section. You have four different t-shirts. The iHeart Tax Evasion comes in white or black. Tax Evasion or the black. There you go. And you also want a sandwich as well. $10? Worth the sandwiches, yeah. For the sandwiches? Okay, fine. I'd let you guys know that these aren't like hot at all. Do 12 bucks and then minus that by 12 bucks and here you guys go. Are you serious? Yeah, here you guys go. It's because they're not hot, that's why. I'll give a tip. We do accept tips. This will go into the foundation actually. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. I'm making zero profit off of this. As I was scamming these little kids, I started to notice that time was quickly dwindling down and Danny was nowhere to be found, which led me worried because he had an important flight to make that same day. He said he'll be here around like 3.15, 3.30. It is right now at the time of me, you know, talking. It's 3.30, so we just have to kind of hope that he lives up to his word and comes here and just doesn't get sidetracked. Or he's probably, you know, getting a lawsuit ready. So by the time he comes here, we are already going to have to pay millions of dollars in lawfare. Well, all of that doubt cleared my mind the second I noticed from the corner of my eye a white four-door Tesla with bullhorns driving towards my direction. And as you could imagine, the person behind that wheel was none other than Daniel Duncan. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? You left the gym, what is it? Back yeah. and buys, what'd you do? As you can tell, legs. Is this your whole crew? He's my very first up, customer. Man? What's up, what's up? What you got? What's up? I got Chick Where'd you get that? How'd you get that? You got Chick-fil-A in here. Oh, hey, we have everything. Oh. First, admire the sign. This is no, no, like NINT. This is my company. I'm, I'm admiring the horrible. Uh, who did this? Look how bad this quality is. Okay, that person got fired Fix for doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanna see our menu? Oh, yeah, let me take a picture. No worries. You, you want me to be in it? Yeah, yeah, here. Okay, okay. Proud business owner, by the way. Once Danny finally arrived and admired my amazing graphic design, I decided to keep my enemies closer by showing him around the company that would eventually take him down. Let's go, come on. You wanna come inside? Oh, it's not diet. It won't go up. Wait, you actually? Don't, don't watch it, I won't do anything. What happens if I hit a car? Danny, I'm not good at this shit like you are, dude. Over here is our entire merch collection, by the way. No, I owed like five million to taxes. So then do you want this? I have proof. Let me send that to my account. I have it right here as well. All right, but that one looks better. Here. What's the NIP? No, it's not that. Also, I trademark no, it's not that, so good luck making merch with it in the future. I don't think so. Yeah. Sometimes people do that, though. What, just trademark your sayings yeah. and take it? Am I going to get a cease and desist for this shit? I have this trademark, though. You're going to get a lawsuit from my guy. Cease and desist is just a warning. We're beyond that. Okay, fine. I'll call my guy then. He'll be there tomorrow, well, right? Four, tell me we want five. Well, if you can't do five, tell me we want six. Danny tried to pull a desperate attempt at shutting down my business by forcing one of my own customers to eat a ghost pepper, which in turn would completely wipe my company off the NASDAQ. Yo, who wanna do the ghost pepper? We have milk on standby. Wait, I didn't say we had milk. Legally, I have no responsibility to you, but I'm a human being. Do you mind throwing that in the disposal? No, okay. Why don't you get really famous? Everyone does it for you. How many followers you got right now? 15,000. Oh, that's not bad. I lost 78 yesterday. During the tour of my new establishment, I couldn't help but notice that Danny was not only surprised, but also threatened by the sight of a new competitor. You probably think, oh, I just bought a bunch of stuff in here and I, nothing really matters, oh, this okay? so good, I needed this. Okay, well, if you want another one, you can, but I will have to invoice you for that. How do you have money to pay for all this? 
of tax evasion. This is the very first no, it's not that mystery box. You're the meal on person in this world who's ever gonna open this for the rest of the life. Yes, you can. Break down. You can take a picture of it. Come on, I gotta get my snaps up. God, this guy, dude. Focusing on the bag versus genuine friendships. You do the honors. Reveal everything that you have in this mystery box. Ooh, okay. I tried telling people that you didn't have gang affiliations, but I still don't know if that's true or not. I don't know what's true. That's 0% Heineken. There's drinking no alcohol, alcohol. In this? No alcohol in it at all. Dude, we need someone to chug this. Get that little fucking redhead kid, dude. Is it bad if he drinks it? Is that illegal? Yeah. Oh, you gotta be 21? Yeah. Never mind, dude. So that, that means I illegally bought it. How old so are you? 19. He bought this at 19. Yeah. Does it ID you? No, I bought it online. <laughs> really? Yeah, I bought it online. You got the best album of all time. There's nothing better than this album. Best song on here. Man, it's so hard. They're all good. I'm trying to get my clips for YouTube. So what, what, what's, what's the best 50 Cent song of all time? There you go. That's the clip. I have like eight of these autographed in frames. By 50 Cent? Yeah. So this practically means fucking nothing. He's my hero, dude. No, okay. I thought Lance Armstrong nothing. was your hero. Lance Armstrong, Bam Margera, 50 Cent. Rob Deerdeck. The longer I was talking to Danny, the more I found out that he is a genuine guy who never meant to scam me, and that we'd both be better off working together rather than fighting against each other. I tagged you for a reason, because of this. I was you building this stall up. Not every day, no, no, you can't, you can't, you can't put that burden on me. Look back at it. Look back at it. Look back at it. Dude, I don't know how I always see your shit, dude. I at you, and you look at the story, and you see me. Oh, I see all that. I'm like, who is this guy, dude? Before he headed off to the airport, we shared our final moments together by touring his new office, going to Starbucks, and being invited to his warehouse. Overall, I was proud to say that the beef between Danny and I was settled for good, mainly because he already filed for bankruptcy which means that I would have made absolutely nothing from his business. So, Danny, I'm gonna ask you this one last yeah, time. Yeah, okay, and another one. Has anybody ever done this for you? Done what? I'm actually trying to rival Danny's cream pies. That's I'm going okay. to bankrupt you in the future. You already We're see how many customers I have. Be, we already filed bankruptcy. You already have? Yeah. See that new window and door thing? Okay. That just put us under. Money to be made, so I'm working like a slave from the cradle to the grave. This is what put us under, man. Now we're bankrupt. How much was this, if you mind me asking? This? Yeah. $88,000. So you guys only had $88,000 to your name? 85. Oh, okay. I owe him 3000 <laughs>